Welcome back to Callie's in the Kitchen. I am trying to get to the point where I can do these metallic dolly dot technique sort of like routine. And it's been a little, I get different results every time. I am using um, today the Cascade Mold from Pouring Your Heart Out. It's really a popular and fantastic mold. It's so very pretty. You can get it on Pouring Your Heart Out eBay store. My first resin is resin ink mixed with a combo of sweet cherry and strawberry from Octopus Inks. Now, these colors are totally inspired by the incredible um, Genevieve, who came up with, I think, the most breathtaking, beautiful metallic flower I've seen. So, the second part of this metallic process, me metallic dolly, I think I'm just going to say dolly, it's just easier to say. Uh, is you mix some mica powder and today I'm using a graphite black and you drop this at the edge of your where your red meets the mold it's funny whenever I do this Pouring from a cup, I, I hold my breath. All the ratios amounts can be found on resin art by Lillian, her course on this particular technique. As I've mentioned before, this technique really reminds me, or not reminds me, but some of the things that you do here, you also do in a course by resincourses.com called the Fairy Flower, where you do a bunch of dotting. So now, um, Let's see here. Um. Okay, I'm sort of letting that settle in. I have mixed in my piping bag my white, which is just resin, titanium white, mixed with a resin dye peach red. I was hoping to find the same color that Miss Genevieve used, but I wasn't able to find it, and that was the closest I could get. So I am now going to start dotting. And today I'm really going to try and do small dots. Oopsie. I have been finding that in using, in doing this technique, your resin and the amount of white that you mix in is, is key. At least that's what I found. The resin I'm using here is the Art Pro Resin by Resin Pro. And I have been experimenting, or not experimenting, but I... One time I'll put in a certain amount of the titanium white and then another time I'll put a different one. So it's sort of finding that right amount because it's a paste. So I can't say, oh, I used X number of drops, you know, for this one. So each time I don't, I can't figure out a, a way to sort of do a de definitive amount when you're using paste. So today I'm deliberately using a little bit more 
paste because supposedly that is the reason or that allows your petals to be puffier. No, smaller. I, I don't remember, but um, I can't remember the theory. But anyway, so today I'm using a little bit more of the titanium white only because I want to get those amazing petals that Miss Genevieve gets. And um, she is by far the expert, I think, currently right now. Although Julie from Pouring Your Heart Out, um, a whole bunch of other lovely ladies who are doing this are just creating amazing pieces. Stefania, Amanda, Johanna, Kelly, Stacy. Very talented ladies. Okay, so I am also, I've also been taught that don't torch because supposedly the bubbles help keep your dots or your white afloat more and they don't sink. Okay, now I gotta look at my notes on the next step. Okay, then my next course or my next step is I take um, Inoki and a ruby red dye ink and put it in here. I was actually looking for a different kind of color, but I didn't have it. And this amount you pour on top of your black. And this time, because I want the this pink to show up at the edge of my mold, I'm, I'm putting it not necessarily you know, on the inside, but also on the outside edge of the black. <coughs> okay, so that's that one. <clears throat> And then in here is my clear, and it's the first push. And I wanted a red mica powder, but the closest I could come up with was sangria. So I'm going to have to look online for some mica powder that's red. And I think there's a beautiful red by Eye Candy. So, but let's see how this works first before I go spend some more money. So. Let's see how this works. So with my red mica powder and the resin, I'm doing my first push. And I hate to waste resin, so I'm kind of doing it all the way using it using it all up okay I'm gonna let that settle for a bit wipe my tools off look at my notes Then I'm going to start sort of half, not quite halfway between here and here um, with some more dotting. And this time I'm really making a conscientious effort of making my dots smaller than what I usually do. Oops. And I'm going to be doing this all the way into the center this time. 
Oops, can't quite get that circle. <laughs> oh boy. As always, please feel free to fast forward through this dotting part. It seems like I dot at least once or twice a day because I just love this technique. It's so fun. And then it's, you know, it's that moment of when you turn it over, ooh, did it turn out? Did the petals come out the way I wanted? So that that's the only that's the other part that I enjoy in this process too. Is that moment of anticipation. Especially for these techniques. So do check out um, the resincourses.com courses. They, she has a whole bunch of different um, courses on her website or her site. And then Lillian's, the only one I've taken so far is this metallic dolly dot, it's called, from Resin Art by Lillian. Um, also, please watch Julie's Pouring Your Heart Out videos YouTube channel because she has done amazing pieces as well and um, her colors and her technique are all on her channel then now I'm going to go back out so this technique is you continue doing this and then you do a so we did the first push that I mentioned earlier so which was clear resin and some mica powder then on the after I do this there's a second push and I am going to pause and mix a clean clear batch of resin for my second push I wonder if anyone's ever tried like on this part here to do the M's that you do in the dragon flower that uh, Resin Courses has taught us. A dragon flower technique where you draw M's sort of like this on the edge. Maybe one day I'll try that on this technique where I do a where I do those M's. So I am going to pause the tape so it's not too much time of just dotting here. And I will be back when I come back with my second push. See you very, very shortly. Alrighty, I'm back. I'll let you see how much dotting I did there before I pour in my final clear clean push just into the center I'm just crazy about this mold it is it is just such a great mold at the end of the video uh, I will take a photo of all the products that's to help me remember what I used and what I didn't use. Okay, the next step on this process is you continue with some more dots. So I'm going to push, this doesn't seem to be coming out, so let's see what's going on here. Out of my piping bag, let me get it to the edge. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go, I think. I think that was my Alexa notification letting me know that my metallic mica powders have been delivered.
and this amount of um, dotting here, I will go to the center as well. And I am going to use some, instead of glitter or uh, crushed glass, I'm going to use this Golden Flakes. This Rainbow Flakes and some Ice Resin Crystal Opal that, of course, uh, uh, Julie from Pouring Your Heart Out introduced us to in one of her videos to see if it makes a nice little centerpiece. I'm going to do a small one because lately I've been doing these without any center because I like, when I'm successful, I like how my petals have closed in. So, come on. I really made my bag small this time. So it's for some reason it's getting it's a little difficult I'm pushing this out. So wow, next time I guess I could use uh, mix less resin for the for the wipe. Okay, and then I'm just gonna just put a little bit, a few more here. Just to see if I get a any kind of effect or different effect. Okay, so while that settles, I have mixed that foil and ice resin opal mixture and I'm going to encourage it with my little silicone tool to go into the center. As I said, I don't want a lot, so let me just get a bit more. I've got to do it away from my mold. Sorry. I just love how it just swallows it up. <laughs> it's so cool. Okay. And I will see you. Oh, I at the end of the second push, then I do do a light torch. All right, uh, I'm gonna push that down a little bit more. Because it's a flake and not glitter or glass, it does tend to kind of come up, so I'm gonna encourage it to stay down. Like that. And I'll keep an eye on it. I might have to do that a couple times. Hopefully it doesn't ruin my petals. We shall see. I will see you soon. Alrighty, it's time to demold. The edges are a little soft, so that's why I have my gloves on in case it's still sticky. But I am just too impatient to see, <laughs> to wait. So I am hoping very much that this turns out beautifully. We shall see. So it's a little soft on the edge. Oh boy, please give me some nice petals. Oh, <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Genevieve, for your inspiring colors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to take you in for a close up. Ooh, yes. Happy girl is she. Thank you so much for watching.